It's your man, R.T. Ham. Uh, this time I wanted to talk about the sparring session that we had. I'm going to start doing a commentary, if you will. Start going by, you know, kind of play by play what I could have done better, what the other person could have done better also. So this is me facing my friend Steven. He's uh, about like 6'5". So, you know, he's taller, got more reach on me. So I definitely try to sneak it inside and see the jab right there. Should through a kick though. See, there's a good kick. So for this round, we wanted to do a round where I was on offense and then a round where he was on offense. So this is my round where I was on offense. I made that face, I tried to kick him and it wasn't a good kick. It looked nice little jab there. Switch my stance. I should have knocked the hand down right there and just hit him. Knocked that leave hand down. It was a nice little switch. I like that kick. That was probably one of my favorite kicks I landed the whole day. I didn't do a good job of keeping my Philly shell up, but you know I was on offense, and uh, that rear hand should be up higher too. I like that I ended that combo with a kick. You know, nothing too fancy, just land something. I like that that kick. That's probably one of the best kids. Six, we were talking about the the camera. As you see, he likes to prairie the my hands. This is my first time really mixing in kicks with punches. No excuses though. But that leg kick was being a favorite after a jab. Should have mixed it up a little bit more. Should have threw a cross and then a lead leg. And then right here, I figured I'd pressure him with some boxing. He didn't seem too comfortable with it. I like the little head movement here. Working the different angles. I need to do that more often. That was the first round. The second round, uh, I'm on defense. And as you see, there's like kind of <laughs> not that much room. So I tried to move around as much as possible. Uh, also, the kick right there, it it was close, but I trusted that my shoulder would get, look at that bob and weave. I got cocky right here. Always protect yourself. That one hurt, of course. Didn't get hit after that, though. Never taunt. Don't be like me. See, there's a good counter punch right there. He was a little stiff, so it was easy to read. He couldn't get the kick right there. I don't know what he was trying to do there. I don't know if that was trying to go to the body or what. I need to stop doing that habit right there. Where I kind of bent down. It doesn't allow me to really do anything. I need to move laterally. I should have circled a lot more than I did. Not enough, you know, not a lot of space. So he reached on that one. I should have made him pay on that. I, w I would have sweeped him on this one, but you know, we're on concrete. And that kick, I put that arm out just to keep distance. Because the kick from him basically covered the whole room. It wasn't a bad check. I wish I would have timed it a little bit better, though. Instead of just holding my knee up. It was a nice little counter. See, there you go, being cocky again. Let me start doing that. That one caught me a little bit. Got lazy on that one. See, it caught me a little bit weird on the eye because I moved. Fight through it. He was using that kick, and that's how I timed it. I knew he was going to come with the cross. Oh, that, I like that. The punch and the kick, just to uh, keep distance. I realized I should have been using more body kicks to keep him off of me. More uh, push kicks. I got him slip there. It is about the end of the round. Yeah. Round three, this is us going all out. We're not going 100% here, but it's a free game. You know, just a legit sparring match right now. So I took the center of the ring, or the garage, if you will. He tried to kick there. I didn't know where he was going with that kick, so I put the hand down. He 
kept using that kick to try to move distance on me. I think he was looking for a side kick. He was so stiff on his roundhouse in that first round. There we go. We kicked each other on this one. But that was a nice punch. It was a nice little setup I did there. Because he always, uh, he tended to lean back, put that weight on his uh, back foot. He caught my foot. That was a, that was a nice catch on uh, that kick. I threw it slow, though. That one, too. I didn't know what that was. Tried to throw it overhead. That was sloppy. It's a little sloppy here on both of us. There you go. Parried his punch there. Small little kick, wasn't bad. That was a nice punch he got me, counter. But see, that's why that rear hand needs to be up higher. I should be moving around more. That was a nice kick, he landed on the body. I actually moved him now because the camera was right there. <laughs> ah, that one. I hit his knee a little bit on that one, so I felt that for sure. I shouldn't have made it so predictable. Wasn't a good kick selection. Strike uh, selection. I wasn't mad at that part. He tried to kick right there. I tried to hit him. He had his hands up. That was a nice punch right there, though. Got him with a jab. There we go. I'm gonna start boxing him heavy because I realized he just wasn't as comfortable with his hands. I don't know why he wasn't protecting himself. I didn't hit him too hard or anything. But yeah, that was our sparring session. So uh, remember, guys, like and subscribe.